people that live on the land, love the land, and being a part of the land is a way of life. Those are the people that had the makings of cowboy. Uh, this is uh, that's my dad. That's my dad. Uh, uh, he taught me everything I know about the cow business and then some. And now his cowboy days are done and he's pinned his last old cow and going on up to God's home ranch. His worries are over now. When Dad died, it, it, was, uh, it was quite a blow and kind of his therapy, I started writing poetry. Cowboy poetry expresses that attitude that the land and the character needs to be talked about before it's plumb forgotten. This is under the title Manners. When you meet a feller, shake his hand. When you hire on to work, ride for the brand. Don't cause another cowboy to take up your slack. If you open a gate, shut her back. When women are present, don't spit nor curse. Look for the good in life, because it could be worse. Now, it's just something I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing it because it seems to bring other people happiness too. Curtis Bell is one of the neatest guys. I didn't realize that he was a cowboy poet. I asked him, I said, have you ever published before? And he said, no. I said, I've never done it. And I said, well, now's as good a time as any. Tell your grandkids. Yeah. Yeah. And those stories need to be saved. Yeah, and they probably can tell some of the stories word for word the way you told them. Yeah. Yeah. A million acres of the Lord's good earth waiting for pioneers to tame. A fertile land between two rivers, the Empire of Greer was its name. And in this land abundant, herds of buffalo could roam and mighty Comanche warriors called it their home. Then up the Great Western Trail came vast herds of cattle and wild Texas cowboys riding tall in the saddle. The empire of Old Greer County celebrates 100 years and more. With a bright future lying ahead, we owe to those who came before. Had, had prostate cancer and uh, when I, ha I had surgery and then uh, about two or three years later my uh, they determined that it had come back at one time it bothered me you know you got to go on that's probably I guess that's kind of being a cowboy one of there's a term for that cowboy up when somebody's feeling down and somebody's kind of feeling sorry for themselves, somebody's kind of whining and complaining about life, you tell them, cowboy up. When you meet a feller, shake his hand. When you hire on to work, ride for the brand. Don't cause another cowboy to take up your slack. If you open a gate, you shut her back. When women are present, don't spit or curse. Look for the good in life, cause it could be worse. When you finish Chuck, thank the cook, and take time every day to read the good book. Don't brag too much, complain even less, and remove your hat when the food you bless. If a neighbor calls, always be there, and in all your dealings, make sure you're fair. So when you meet St. Peter at the pearly gate and looks in the book to decide your fate, you know you always did the best you could and can truthfully say your manners were good. To me, cowboy poetry is about the life that people in America have kind of forgotten. Yeah, I am concerned about us losing this way of life, but as long as I can teach a grandkid or two how to live it and how and, and all of I think, I think personally, our family's at least going to get through another generation.
and I ain't got no reason to gripe because I've had a good life, a great life, no complaints.